What is up, everybody? Happy Sunday night. Happy Father's Day. Um, I got to quit doing these streams on holidays. I always forget um, that it's going to be Father's Day or Easter. And uh, but, you know, it's OK. It's it's later in the day. You guys are probably done with your family activities, ready to run down and enjoy some quality content and watching some insane YouTuber buy Blu-rays on Amazon, right? Are you guys ready for that? Can everybody hear me okay? I always feel like I have to start with that. So uh, let me know if you guys can hear me. If you can hear me or not, I would appreciate it. I would appreciate that. Uh, 48 people in here. If you all haven't hit the like button, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button. It's Father's Day. If you want to give me a Father's Day gift, today hit the like button i would appreciate that um but yeah how's everybody doing how was your day how was your day i worked all day i don't think uh, i've been a father for 11 going on 12 years 12 years next week because it's my son's birthday i have never not worked on father's day <laughs> i've worked every single uh father's day so to me it's just kind of another day. And when I get home, the kids, you know, g give me a hug. Today, when I got home, they scared me. They hopped from behind the walls and they scared me. And that's how they celebrated Father's Day. So, but you know, it's something. It's something. And I got a card and I got a card. But um, I I made a purchase today that I was actually pretty, pretty, pretty happy about. Um, I gave myself a Father's Day gift and you guys will see more on that soon but look let's we, we got to get into buying blu-rays we got to get into buying nicholas cage blu-rays we're going to buy every single blu-ray starring or not just starring but every single blu-ray that he's in every single blu-ray that he's in we're gonna buy it not actually we're gonna see how much it costs um i always feel like i'm i'm click baiting everybody everybody jumps in here and says are you gonna buy every single one of them I'm not buying anything, but we're going to put it all in the carts and we're going to calculate it up and we're going to see how much it would cost to buy Nicolas Cage's uh, entire filmography. So it's just a fun way to kind of go through all of this stuff and just see what kind of different editions there are and just kind of browse the prices. And it just, it's just a fun what if uh, scenario. So let me get into the chat, see who's all in here. We got Ben Buster. What's up, Ben Buster? Uh, if you guys go to, I know Ben uh, Buster, you work at Menards. Uh, if you have any local Menards, you could probably go there and find like 10 Nicolas Cage films in that bin for $5 a piece. So that would probably be pretty cheap, but I can't base it off of, you know, Walmart bins and stuff like that. I have to, I just try to go straight by straight Amazon prices. You know, they're usually, they're usually the cheapest and, and most of the time, most of the time, unless you can find a good deal in stores or at a thrift store or something. Let's see. Yeah. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Happy Father's Day. Did everybody have a good day? Uh, this is going to be good, says RK1916. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for everybody, uh, you know, for being here tonight. 65 people in here. Again, hit the like button. If, you, if you're going to give me anything for Father's Day, you know, I know I'm not you guys' father. Some people in the chat like to call me daddy, but I know I'm not really your father. But look, for Father's Day, give me a like. That's all I'm asking for. Just a like. I don't need a card, you know. I don't need a, a a gift card to Applebee's or anything. Just give me, just give, just give me a like. That's all I care. That's all I care about. What's up, T Sizzle? T Shizzle. Uh, it will cost you everything. Yeah, I can see that happening. Uh, Vengeance Media says, "Let's have some much needed fun tonight." Smash that like button. Yes, yes, we're gonna have some fun tonight. We're gonna have some fun. Uh, T Sizzle, T Shizzle says, looking forward to this. Uh, how much are we placing bets on? Oh, they're betting on how much is going to be 2,578. Well, I will say this. I bought every single movie in 1984 and it was, I think it was over 3000. So I don't know. I don't know how much Nicholas Cage. Let me look real quick. I have his IMDB up right now. I think he had like a hundred credits to his name or something. 
109 uh, credits. A few of them have not been uh, have not been put out yet. So five of them haven't been put out yet. So it's 104. I don't know how much TV he's actually done. Um, it's not really looking like much. So this might be like a straight. It might be a straight clean 104 movies that we have to go through. So I don't know. It could be. It could be to that. I don't know. I don't think it'll be that much, but it could be. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, are we negating that he already owns or is it everything? Yeah, we're doing everything, Boom Buster. Like I said, I, I own like 20 Nicolas Cage movies on Blu-ray. So I'm, I'm definitely not going to re um, uh, let's see. Yeah, I would bet, uh, I'll go ahead and call it. I'll call it right now. I would bet, um, I'll bet 1900. I'll bet 1900. And I haven't looked at anything. I haven't looked at anything. Uh, let's see. RK1916 says, well, he has a lot of movies. Imagine having to watch every Nicolas Cage movie. It's my life's goal. That is my life's goal. Uh, let's see. Uh, and about nine to 11 titles can be found in $5 bins of Walmart. So we might have to take that into consideration too. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Bruce Leroy? Uh, Nicholas Cage is awesome in face off. He's, he's, uh, he's something in face off. He's something in face off. That's for sure. Uh, snake eyes. I need to watch. I, I do want to watch it. I have it on, on Blu-ray. I have it on Blu-ray. Um, yeah, I haven't seen it either. Is that the is that Joel Schumacher? Did he do that movie? Am I wrong? Uh, Bad Lieutenant. Everybody says good things about Bad Lieutenant. I've never seen that one. I've never seen that one. Um, underrated ASF. Love Gone in sixty seconds. I got that on Blu-ray. That's really cheap. Like, there's some five dollar, six dollar ones that I got recently, and I mean, they're some of his most popular ones. Um, what's up, uh, Dan Daniel? How are you doing? What's up, Adrian James? What's up, Dominican Scott? How's it going, Ken? And the chats. It's going pretty good. He loves Nicolas Cage also. Awesome. Jeremiah Goffs here says, hey, what's up, Jeremiah? How are you doing? Uh, 117 million to buy on Nicolas Cage movies. Um, yeah, man, I, I wouldn't spend that much. I would not spend that much. Uh, happy Monday morning from Australia. Awesome. It's Monday morning in Australia. Well, uh, happy you can wake up with me easy. You know, hope you're sipping your coffee at your table in your dining room. If you're eating yourself a nice omelet, enjoying the sunrise in Australia. And, you know, having fun watching me buy all of Nicolas Cage's filmography on Blu-ray or 4K. I might throw a couple DVDs in there if I if I need to as well. Uh, Cause I'm sure that not all of his movies are on, you know, Blu-ray. John Mindy says Jaws 4k and Blu-ray. Also. Awesome. I like the Jaws 4k. Amos and Andrew's highly underrated movie of his. I don't think I've seen that one. I don't think I've seen that one. Uh, Juicy Bob's here says he has about 40 Nicolas Cage movies and his favorite actor. Of all. Isn't that crazy that you have 40 Nicolas Cage movies? You have 40 Nicolas Cage movies and you don't even have 50% of his movies. You don't even have 50% of his movies and you have 40 of them. That is nuts. Uh, okay. Awesome. You guys can hear me though. Whoo. What a relief. Uh, Vicky's here. What's up, Vicky? Uh, hey buddy. How are you today? Happy Father's Day. Thank you so much, Vicky. I appreciate that. Uh, I got to hang out with my dad and we went to see Top Gun Maverick again and we both liked it a lot. Awesome, man. How'd you got to take your dad to see that? That is a, that is a father-son uh, movie for sure. Uh, Miraculous World, New York, and Shanghai Blu-ray DVD already soon. Are those uh, are those uh, Nicolas Cage movies? I really don't know. He's got a lot of crazy movies that I've never heard of. Uh, 365's here. Uh, happy Father's Day. Thank you. Uh, hey there, Ken. How's your day been? Says Adrian James. It's been pretty good, man. How's your day been? Uh, drive angry. I do. Everybody's, you know, talking about that one. I, I do need to buy that. I do need to buy that. I don't know how much time I'm going to have for, I've only watched three Nicolas Cage movies. I'll be honest. <laughs> I've only watched three. I'm going to try to get a total of eight done before the end of the month. I've got my other five picked out. 
I want to watch Adaptation. I want to watch uh, Gone in 60 Seconds, Honeymoon in Vegas, um, Lord of War, and I want to watch Free Birds. Probably six. So I want to watch The Wicker Man too. So I'll probably watch nine. I'll try to get to 10. I'll try to really grind this, but we can get a few watched. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you. Blu-ray King. Uh, let's see. Moves around says I'm saying around 800 bucks. That's that's light, but see if he's got a hundred movies, that's an average of $8 a movie. I don't know. I don't know. That, that seems a little bit too low, but it could be possible. Uh, I'll take the Applebee's gift card. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you, Jason Carr. Thank you, Steve. Uh, this is the first Father's Day I didn't have to work. Awesome. Awesome. I'll get one of those one day, probably when I retire. Uh, wait, are we guessing how much to buy all of his? Yes. Yep. 7,880. You, I, I don't know. I think if we were playing prices, white prices, right? Blue Ray King, you would have overbid. I think that's an overbid. Uh, I lost my father in 2013, age 82. He had all ties. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, went downtown and got my dad the MASH complete series since he loves that show. I have never seen MASH. I know it had a... Di didn't have a movie before it had a TV show. Prisoners of a Ghost Land. I need to get that one. That's the one you all always talk about. That was a nice steel book. It's a nice steel book. Happy Father's Day, King. I got Singing in the Rain, Escape from L.A. Uh, 4Ks and a $100 homemade gift card uh, for more movies. Awesome. Father. Yeah, that sounds like a great Father's Day goes 41. For sure. Escape from uh, L.A. Uh, I was thinking of New York. I haven't seen the Escape from L.A. 4K yet. 105 mo movies, 1100 bucks then. Okay. Okay. That seems a little bit more realistic. Uh, hey, Ken and everyone made my Nick Cage video to Ken and it will be out this weekend. Awesome, man. Yeah, I, I, a few people's Nicolas Cage videos popped up today, so I was happy to see that. Uh, some Nick Cage love. I put one out today. I watched Wild at Heart, David Lynch's Wild at Heart, and I put a review up for that. So go check it out if y'all didn't. I had some, uh, some wild thoughts on that one because it's a wild movie at heart. Uh, City of Angels is so good. I don't think I've seen City of Angels. I always get that one confused with Family Man. I have seen Family Man. That's the one with him and um, Tia Leone, right? And, and City of Angels is him and, and Meg Ryan. But I haven't seen City of Angels, I don't think. I've seen The, uh, the Crow 2 City of Angels. I have seen that. Uh, it is. I Yeah, I, I dropped quite a bit of money today on a, on a TV on a new TV. So hopefully it's coming soon. Uh, let's see. Brian De Palma, who directed the movie Snake Eyes. Okay. Okay. Which, uh, it was a uh, eight millimeter was the Joel Schumacher, uh, directed movie that, that Nicholas Cage was in. Happy taco Tuesday. Uh, wait, you buying this stuff live? Oh, we're buying live, man. Not buying, but putting in the cart and then I'll put it back later. Uh, I own just two Nicholas Cage. Blue I have face off and gone in six seasons. Those are two good ones. Two good ones. Uh, you need to get Con Air, though, to complete that Nicolas Cage action trilogy, I would say. Um, yeah, you got to get you got to get Con Air. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nick Cage is, is the guy from Nickelback. Can you imagine Nicolas Cage as the lead singer of Nickelback? Yo, this is how you remind me. Something like that. I feel like it'd be something like that. Uh, a great Nicolas Cage movie is Red Rock Rest. Yeah, I know. Everybody was recommending that, and I looked it up. It's like, I can't even rent it on streaming. And yeah, you can't even buy it. So I was like, how, how can I watch it, guys? Somebody's got to send it to me. Uh, also, most of his are at the dollar stank. Some of them are. Some of them are. Uh, I have a lot of Nick Cage in the Walmart budget bins. <laughs> yeah, quite a few. Uh well, Gone in 60 Seconds is on Amazon for like five or six bucks. It's pretty cheap. Uh, I used to like driving. Yeah, Amber Heard is in that movie, isn't she? Yeah, that's funny. Uh, I'm thinking 1400 says Kevin L. That's a that's a that's a reasonable but conservative estimate. So, uh, Prisoners of Ghostland score to settle. 
Yeah, I need to grab it. I don't have Leaving Lost Legacy. That's another one that was kind of expensive, so I didn't get that one. Uh, Wicker Man, yeah. Uh, Wicker Man's discontinued. I bought it on on uh, DVD, full screen. So <laughs> that's what I have for for seven dollars. Uh, Snake Eyes is a great movie. The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Yeah, I have to watch that and Van Bear's Kiss. So those are other movies I have to watch. I'll probably squeak in about 11 or 12 then. Uh, I'll probably squeak in. 8mm is a good one. Can we shoot a collab for the Tom Hanks? For Tom Hanks? What, are you doing Tom Hanks month in, in July? Um, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Tom Hanks sounds pretty cool. I don't know. I've seen a lot of Tom Hanks, though. I had something else in mind for July, but we'll see. Um, you're getting it from your library tomorrow, Brian. Well, that's cool. I'm hoping to find it in Target this week. Um, I, Iron Wolf. This is this is kind of a what if. I'm not gonna buy them, like actually buy them, but we're gonna see how much it would cost to buy them all. Uh, if you if you've seen this these kind of streams before, I've done two of them. I've done every movie from 1984. I've done every Sylvester Stallone movie. I didn't do Alfred Hitchcock, and I'll tell you why. It's because you could knock out half of his filmography just by buying one of those Blu-ray box sets. So I was like, this isn't going to be as fun. So I didn't do that one. Uh, what's up, PR? How you doing? Uh, hey, guys, please don't buy all of Nicolas Cage's movies, says my wife, Mary with Media. Why not? Why can't I? Yes, I am planning on getting that. What's up, Gus? How are you doing, man? Uh, Kenan, what is your best and worst movie of 2022 so far? My best would be Top Gun Maverick by a mile. By like 10 miles would be that movie. It's by far the best movie of the year. Um, and my worst would be The Batman. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> um, God, I can't think. What is worst? I feel like there is a, a crap stain. Firestarter. Firestarter, yeah, for sure. That's the worst. Um, yeah, I haven't seen it. You need to get that for me. Get it for me. Jeez Louise. Um, can bring back Ratman, says Adrian James. You guys want Ratman tonight? Well, Ratman is a father as well. <laughs> so here we go. You guys ready? One, two, three. Happy Father's Day from Ratman. Um, you know, he's a father of, I don't know. 25 probably <laughs> you know he's got all those little feeding teats right there so got to keep the rat babies alive show some respect to rat man all he's gone through with his kids uh are you going to show your new tv on your channel once it arrives i i'll i'll vlog the whole experience the whole thing so yes uh mary with me yes yeah uh new tv that's a great father's day present i'm guessing oled yes Yes, 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 yes. Um, let's see. Molong, season one, season two. What is Molong? Uh, lottery ticket and sharing it with the waitress. What's that from, Ken? Uh, I'm excited for the Criterion sale. One week and four days left. We're getting there, man. We're getting there. Uh, we're narrowing it down to theatrical releases because if we do straight to home video films, then we will be here all day. Mockbuster, man. You should know by now. I I I don't do anything half-assed on here. You know, we go straight. We go straight full-assed. We're getting every one of them. I don't care if they're straight home video or not. Uh, dude, you got to see Leaving Las Vegas. It's next level. Yeah, I've heard of good things about it. Um, every Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. That would be a good one. That'd be a good one. And guys, I'm gonna go through these last comments, and then we're gonna get we're gonna get started. You know, you guys can talk amongst yourselves. Uh, you know, throughout the stream, but. As, as Mockbuster pointed out, we could be here all night. I don't want to be here all night. So, you know, I got some Nicolas Cage movies to watch. So I like to try to get done around 11, 1130, somewhere around there. Not the bees, the bees, the bees. Ah! I don't know. What, is that how he is? I haven't seen the movie. I've seen the clip. though. Uh, what's up, uh, Tony? How are you doing? Uh, I like to get Connor on Blu-ray. I haven't seen that in ages. It's a great movie. It's still great. Needs a 4K, but Disney owns it. Son of a bitches. Uh, I thought Bangkok Dangerous was pretty enjoyable despite its poor reviews. Yeah, that came out of the era where 
he was doing all these movies and I was just like, what is this? This looks like crap. Like all those movies, like knowing Bangkok dangerous. That was like the beginning of the ends to me. But I think that people now look back on those movies with fondness because he's done far worse now. So I don't know. Are they actually good? Like, should I check out Bangkok Dangerous and Knowing and all those movies? I just thought, I just assumed sucked. So I never watched them when they came out. Um, can are you getting Giants 4K? I, I did not pre-order Giant 4K, Gus. Um, for one, it didn't look like it came with a slipcover. So, and for another, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to spend a little less this month um, I feel like Giant will probably be on sale for 15 bucks in two weeks. I'll, I'll get it then, especially if it doesn't uh, have a slipcover. What I did pre-order this week and was the uh, was the two MVD releases. I, I pre-ordered Monday Morning and Vampire's Kiss. And what else did I order? Damn it! I got I got one other thing. It was some kind of boutique release, but I should be getting the Universal Soldier. Um, Best Buy exclusive steelbook in this week. I'm going to go to Target at some point to look for that exclusive um, unbearable weight of massive talent. There's just too much stuff come out this week. I'm supposed to be getting my arrow stuff for Edge of Sanity and uh, the initiation of Sarah and True Romance on 4K. So all that stuff should be coming in soon. I don't, I don't, uh, I didn't narrow it down a little bit and cut some stuff out. Uh, let's see. What are the plans for the old, old TV? Are you putting in the man cave? Yeah, it's going in the basement somewhere. It's uh it's going in the basement. Let's see. Is National Treasure on Blu-ray? I I believe so. I believe so. Um I like National Treasure and its sequel. I I I I think I've only seen the first one. I think I've only seen the first one. Um, and I remember thinking it was okay. I remember thinking it was okay. even back then I was like, eh, it's okay. Uh, let's see. When is the third one going to be released? Um, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, can we dedicate this stream to Vengeance Media's son, Austin? It would mean the world to him. Absolutely, man. We'll, we will dedicate this stream to your son, Austin, Vengeance Media. Very sorry for your loss, man. Uh, that definitely sucked, but this stream is dedicated to Austin. Thank you, Mary of Media. Uh, hey, Tony, says Fish the Film Collector. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got to get through here. Uh, Giant on 4K isn't coming out in Australia, but the Blu-ray was released here years ago. Yeah, I'm sure it's a good movie. It looks like a good movie. It's just, I know I'll buy Giant and it'll just, it'll just um, sit on the shelf for like three months and I won't watch it. So I might as well just wait till it goes down in price. Uh, I could happen to use a lot of your movie. Also like Peggy Sue. I did want to watch Peggy Sue got married. I've heard really good things about that one. Um, also pre-order vampires kiss from MBD. Yeah, for sure. Uh, weatherman's really good. Wind talkers. I have not seen. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, October. I could see myself doing it in October if it's not too busy. I'm sure October will be insanely busy with new Blu-ray releases and stuff. I've already caught wind of some stuff that, that might be coming in October and it's going to be insane. Um, Yeah, he could have played uh, Superman. Now you need that Panasonic UB820 4K player to go with the LG OLED. Oh, I'll look that up, Patrick. Look that up. Uh, I am not looking forward to the National Treasure Disney Plus show since it will not be including Nick. I didn't even know they were doing that. Uh, let's see. Speaking of Nicholas Cage, have you seen Wind Talkers? I have not seen Wind Talkers. And with that, look, we got we got to get we got to get in some some Blu-ray bomb. We got to in, uh, get into some Blu-ray bomb. All right, hold on now, hold on. Where was I? Okay, so I am going to be. This is where we're going to start. And some people I've already heard say that this doesn't count as a Nicolas Cage film, but he was in it. Um, and his first movie was a made for TV movie that I couldn't even find. I actually started to look that one up. Um, and he actually stars in that one as uh, Nicholas Coppola. 
Um, and that is the best of times. And that is a TV movie from 1981. So I couldn't find a physical mini release of that online. So we're going to start at Fast Times at Ridgemont High from 1982. And of course, we're going to get the Criterion release for 2249. All right. So going to go ahead and add that to the cart. Fast Times at Ridgemont High is in the cart. So I count it. Yeah, he's. I don't even know if he has a speaking part in it, but he is in the movie. It's very clearly Nicolas Cage. So I'm counting it. I'm counting it. He's he's in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. So we're adding that one to the cart. We are adding it to the cart. All right. So see what's next. We got uh, Valley Girl. We got Valley Girl came out in what year was this? 1983. Ooh, and this one has a Shout Factory release. I, I forgot. I, I knew it had a Shout Factory release, but I actually forgot about that. So this is 1999 for the Shout Factory release. They have done a lot of good work with, you know, doing boutiques of like the 80s Nicolas Cage films. Because I feel like a lot of those are taken care of with cool releases. Yeah, because we got some other stuff coming up, some criterions and stuff that he's that he's in as well. Some more criterions. Okay, so we got Valley Girl. And let's see what's next. Rumble Fish. Is Rumble Fish any good? Rumble Fish from 1983 also has a criterion. Okay. And he's in this one. I'm trying to look at, yeah, he is. Oh my goodness, look at him. That's pretty cool. All right, we will buy Rumble Fish. See, we're already spending some money here. We're up to almost seventy dollars right now. Well, sixty-four dollars in the cart, and we're only three movies in. So his his early stuff's going to be the most expensive, and then we'll even out once we get towards the end. All right, so next we got Racing with the Moon. Racing with the Moon. Oh, I didn't look that one up on Blu-ray.com. All right, we got to see if it has a Blu-ray, because if it doesn't have a Blu-ray, I go to the DVDs. It does not look to have a Blu-ray, but it does have a DVD, right? And the DVD for brand new is eleven or fifteen ninety-five. Okay, well, I'll get it on DVD again. This is a Blu-ray stream, but I'll show some love to some DVDs. This has Sean Penn in it as well. I haven't seen this movie. Is it any good? There's only one left in stock, so if you want this one, you better jump on it. I'll add it to the cart. I will add it to the cart. Okay. Now we are at the Cotton Club. The Cotton Club is next from 1984. And we're still on DVD. I got to go back. Okay. I knew it had a, a better release. This was in um, Walmart, I'm pretty sure, not too long ago. This one came out. In de December 10th of 2019, this is 1327 new. So, you know, a cheaper title for sure. All right, so add the Cotton Club. Add the Cotton Club to it. All right, where are we, go where are we going next? Birdie. I feel like I've heard about Birdie. 1984, Birdie. He had two movies in 1984, and I did not watch either of them for 1984 month. So, what kind of release is this? Sony. This is just a regular Sony release. 1740 for Birdie. All right, so I got six movies in so far, and it is 110.62. Oh my. 
Yeah, we are only six movies in. If he has 104 movies, we have 98 left. And we're already over $100. Does anybody else want to change their predictions? All right. Birdie. Then we go The Boy in Blue. So that's one, 1986. Oh, Nicolas Cage doesn't have a movie from the year I was born. This is a Stars Anchor Bay release, and this is used for one hundred and twenty-four ninety-five. Oh, oh boy. Um, we're we're gonna scale this down, and we're gonna go. Hopefully, it has a DVD. Is he gonna let me buy the DVD? All right, so I can buy the DVD used. All right, so I added the DVD to the card. I wasn't going to go for the... Is there a used option for the Blu-ray? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. All right, so I just put the DVD in there. The Boy in Blue. I'm not paying $125 for the Boy in Blue. Just saying. Just saying. Okay. So next up, we got uh, Peggy Sue Got Married from 1986 as well. And this just has a regular Blu-ray for $74.95. Jesus. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can go that much for that. We're going to go for the DVD on this one, too, I guess. Let me see if there's a cheaper place to buy this. So on eBay, it's going for like 30 50 There's some other DVDs. Yeah, that's a shame. But there's a the Questra shop. Let's see how credible that is. Seven left. You can get it for uh, six fifty. So I don't know. I don't know if I should trust the the Questra world. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it from this place. Could be shady, but I'm gonna write this down. But let me know what you guys think. Is this a credible place? It says it's six fifty, so we won't add it to the Amazon cart. I'll get it from Questra. Yeah, we're already running in some rough rough waters here. All right, so we got Raising Arizona. I don't think this one's too much. This is $9.99 for Raising Arizona. This needs like a criterion or something. I don't know why this doesn't have some kind of special shout factor release or something. I mean, it's a Coen Brothers film, for Christ's sake. Uh, this Blu-ray does look really good, though. I will say that. This uh, 20th Century Fox Blu-ray. I guess Disney by now. All right, so we'll add Raising Arizona to the cart. Now we're up to 135, 56, uh, over 140 with Peggy Sue got married. And next up will be Moonstruck. And I know this has a criterion release. Probably has some other additions as well, but. I want to at least get the the best editions. Like they don't have to be the most expensive, but if it has a Criterion or a boutique release, I want to, you know, get that from it. Twenty two forty nine. See these these Criterion prices on Amazon are not generally that much more expensive than they are during the Criterion sale, which is kind of weird. They used to all be like twenty seven ninety nine. 
it just kind of makes the Criterion sale seem not that important anymore. If I'm being honest. All right. Got Moonstruck. Vampire's Kiss. Which obviously we're going to get that new MVD release. I think that might be the only way you can get it too. All right, so got to pre order that one, which I already actually do have it pre ordered. Um, what are you all doing? Things are messing up already. Okay. I think I added that twice. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let me see how many's in there. I got 10 in the cart. Vampire's Kiss is only in there once. Okay. We're good. Let's see. 103 people in here right now. If you guys, you know, haven't hit the like button, hit the like button. I would appreciate that. I would appreciate that. And, you know, thank you guys for joining me, sticking with me on this Father's Day. You know, as I psychotically buy 104 Nicolas Cage films on Blu-ray. Um, never on Tuesday. And he plays man in red sports car uncredited. Should I count that one? I'm not going to count that one. Time to kill. Time to kill. There's a time to kill. But what is time to kill? This one says 2014. Okay, I think I found... So this one seems to just have a DVD. And you can buy it on Amazon for $23. Let's see if you could actually do that. Yep. All right, so we're buying a time to kill on, on DVD. And... Go back to Blu-ray. And Wild at Heart is next, which, you know, should be an easy one. That's a... Just reviewed that one. A wild at Hearts. What do you guys think about Wild at Hearts? Jeez Louise. Laura Dern and Nicolas Cage going at it for like an hour. And then in the second half, Willem Dafoe is, is trying to go at it for like an hour. And that's the movie. All right. Wild at Heart is only $17.99. Not a bad price. It's a good release. It is a really good release. All right. And we got uh, Firebirds. I got, I remember getting this one. For like five dollars, I think, in the Criterion sale. So let's see what it is now. Nine ninety nine. Okay. So yeah, that was on the sale, so it's still pretty cheap now. So nine ninety nine for Firebirds. If you guys haven't seen this Top Gun ripoff, maybe it's your time to do it. All right. But yeah, have you all seen Fire? Is Firebirds like bad, or is it really good? Let me know. Is it as good as Top Gun? Industrial Symphony Number no. One: The Dream of the Broken Heart of this is a TV movie. I'm not going to count that. Let me know if you have any problems with that, but I'm I'm not counting that one. Zanda Lee. What is Zanda Lee? Zandalee is from 1991. It's got Nicolas Cage and Judge Reinhold. It does not have a Blu-ray release. 
Does it have a DVD? It does have a DVD for $169.99. Oh, my God. You guys want to pay $170 bucks for Xander Lee? Jesus. All right. Let me let me look this up on here. Xander Lee. See if it's cheaper somewhere else. Voodoo has ship stuff. It's saying it's $9.99 on DVD from, from Voodoo. So vo Voodoo sells physical media? I don't think so. Okay, never mind. You can buy it for $9.99 on Voodoo, but it had the picture of the, of the DVD. Or you can rent it. Um, Zandalee is for sale on eBay. Oh my God. It's, oh, jeez. What is this movie? It is going for 120, 95, 114, 157 for DVD on eBay. Well, I bet you're happy. If, if anybody has a copy of Xanda Lee in their collection, it's worth money. You may want to may want to give that sucker away while you still can. Um, I mean, it's showing me a price, $28.99. Can I get it? That's a different cover, it looks like. All right, I can add it to the cart for $28.99. I'm going to add it to the cart for that. I got a used copy. So it's pretty reasonable on Amazon, I guess. All right. Um, Honeymoon in Vegas. I just bought that one. I don't think, I think that was $12. Something. That's the DVD. The DVD's color cover is awesome, though. That's a good cover. Way better than the Blu ray cover. Are you kidding me? This is new for $7.47. I just bought it for like $12 something. All right, so $10.76 is what it said. So add that to the cart. And I'm going to get back to you guys in the chat in just a second. Amos and Andrew. Is that the one you guys were talking about? I heard somebody saying Amos and Andrew. Amos and Andrew, 1993. Oh, that is an Olive Films release for $19.99. Nice. Very nice. All right. Amos and Andrew. And then next, that's from 1993. So we're at Red Rock West. Damn, he's got three movies in 1993, but Red Rock West. Red Rock West. God, I can't talk tonight. Uh, Red Rock West 1993 does not have a Blu-ray. I didn't think so. And it has a DVD probably for 1104 is what I think I can get it for. Um, let's see. All right, I'll add it, uh, the 15. I'll add the 11.24 one to the cart. All right. So we're up to $300 almost in the cart. And now we're at Deadfall. Deadfall, 1993. I don't think this one has a release. No, it doesn't. No respect to Nicolas Cage, I'm telling you. All right, so this is on Amazon for $7.99 on DVD. So that's not bad. 
I'm having to buy a lot of DVDs tonight. A lot of DVDs. But Nicolas Cage has a lot of films. All right. So we got Guarding Tess. Guarding Tess from uh, 1994. Does this have a, a Blu-ray? I don't think so. Damn, that, a lot of DVDs tonight. Still. All right. Well, after guarding Tess in 1994, we go to It Could Happen to You. This does have a Blu-ray. This was released by Sony, and it is $9.99. That's a good price, and this is a... I like this cover. Bridget Fonda. I like Bridget Fonda. I might pick this up. That's a good price. It's a good. It's a cool cover. $9.99. I don't really think I've ever heard of this one before. It's a romantic comedy about a humble cop who leaves a $2 million tip to a hard luck waitress. Uh, stars Nicolas Cage and Bridget Fonda. Nice. Is this a good one? Yeah, this is... Of all the ones I've looked at so far, this is the one that intrigues me the most. But uh, I'm going to put it in the cart. Nine ninety nine. that's a good price. I think we just forget, like, Nicolas Cage has had such a wide-spanning career. It's easy just to look at all the crap he's done in the past 10 years and just say, hey, that's the guy's entire career, but he's just had so much stuff, so many things. Uh, and I mean, this is all before his action career. Uh, Trapped in Paradise. I do have this on DVD. I do have this on DVD. I remember getting it at a Goodwill. And I don't think it has a Blu-ray. And that's 1780. Well, I'm glad I found it in the, the Goodwill then for a buck. That was a good find. I figured it was a good find. All right. So added that to the court. And we're now at Kiss of Death. So I just I have not heard of a lot of these movies. 1995. Uh, does that have Samuel Jackson in it? Kiss of Death. Yeah, that's something else. I think that one just has a DVD as well. For $35.96. All right. I'll add it. I'm not even going to hunt for the bargain. Just put it in there already. I'm getting screwed in these early Nicolas Cage years, I'm telling you. Buying all these DVDs for hundreds of dollars. All right. Leaving Las Vegas. I did have trouble finding this one. Leaving Las Vegas is $37.99 used on Blu-ray. So, and now it's saying 59 bucks. So I, I'm spending $60 to get Leaving Las Vegas on, on Blu-ray. And that's definitely going to inflate the cart. But yeah. All right, let me let me get back to you guys in the chat. Let me get back to you guys. Let's see where I left off. I gotta I gotta find where I left off. Yep, Shout Factory does have a lot of films. Um, if this question hasn't been asked yet, what do you think of The Rock? Well, Static Blaster, you know, I reviewed The Rock last Sunday. If you want to know what I think of The Rock. You can go watch that review. Did a full review a week ago. A week ago. Uh, speaking of Nicolas Cage, have you seen The Cotton Club 1980? I have not, but I do want to get that. 
I want to get that release. Um, yeah, Jaw Factor is great, great films. Rumblefish is awesome. I, see, I got to get that one. I, I feel like I see that every time I go in the Criterion section of Barnes and Noble too. Lewis Berry says, "I love me some Cage. I love The Rock. Love it too. Haven't seen it." Planet CHH is here. What's up, man? Um, you know we're buying Nicolas Cage's movies, man. Buying all of them, every single one we see. But thank you for being here, man. Uh, RK1916 says, I just got wild at heart in the mail today. I'm a bit nervous, though, because Lynch is hit or miss for me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you've seen his other films like Blue Velvet and Lost Highway and Mulholland Drive, it's, it's along those lines. So if you didn't like those movies, I, I don't know. It's, this, it's pretty much the, the same vibes to me. Um, but yeah, it's a wild one. The rock's got a good soundtrack. It does. Uh, you and Sue from movies and Sue have me binge ordering Nick Cage movies. Hello. Got to make sure I'm not broke before I order vampires kiss Valley girl, wild at heart and unbearable way to ma- Yeah. I want Valley girl too. It's a lot of stuff. eBay is your friend. I know, I know, but I, I, I can't be on there bidding and stuff live with you. That would take forever. Uh, next month is stacked for movies and prom days or 12th and 13th. So I may have to wait. Yeah. Yeah. In 1983, Nick Cage auditioned for the outsiders, which was directed by his uncle Francis Ford Coppola, but he didn't get the job. Uh, I guess he just didn't think his nephew had that it factor. I don't know. Boy, was he wrong? Uh, that must be Nick Cage masterpiece for that price. No, I haven't. I'll have to wait till I do a Jackie Chan month, which is possible. It's possible. What's up, JP? Uh, what's up, Wolf Sight? Yeah, it gets that way, obviously. Sunday Night with Mid-Level Live. Count me in, says Johnny Darko. Thank you for being here, man. Uh, every Bruce Willis film. That would probably take just as long. <laughs> uh, yeah, we haven't gotten to all the straight-to-DVD stuff yet. I can't wait to get to that crap. But it should at least be easier to find than some of this earlier stuff. Thanks for being back, Blu-ray King. Probably a bootleg copy. Funny Peggy Sue is one I've seen multiples at pawn shops and thrift stores for a couple bucks. Now it's out of print. Yeah, you should have grabbed that, man. You should have grabbed that. Nick Cage and Nick Bags are my faves. Uh, Venda says, thank you so much for the dedication. No problem, man. No problem. Uh, watch your Criterion Collection video in 7 Seal. Caught my eye. Ordered it on... Uh, Amazon is 50% off. Yeah, Seven Seal is awesome. I got that on a 4K. Um, subscriber sent that to me. So I need to watch that. It probably looks amazing. Uh, it doesn't feel it, man. It really doesn't. I, I'm I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak on that a little bit more later this week, probably. But yeah. Vampire's Kiss has an out-of-print copy as a double feature. Awesome. Uh, that cranberry juice has me so ad has me sold. I can't get the ads off. I don't know what's going on. Uh, when does MVD do their big sale? They just did one, right? I think. I mean, MVD is, is doing sales for different boutique labels all the time. Right now, they're doing um, Blue Underground. So you just got to, you know, check and see. Gone in 60 seconds on Blu-ray. It's pretty cheap. Uh, Nicholas Cage appreciates it. I'm sure he does. My condolences to your bank account. Thank you. It'll, uh, it'll, it'll get better one day. I've never seen Wild at Heart. Is it good? It's wild at heart. So check it out. Uh, before he bought a dino, did he buy a dino skull for real? That's awesome. Uh, I'm really looking forward to watching Unbearable Way to Massive Talent, though, for sure. I love Wild at Heart, saw for the first time in theaters recently. Awesome. In theaters, huh? Uh, yeah, I need to know that. Does he eat the scenery in Firebirds? Does he eat the Does he eat a Firebird? Is what I want to know. Firebirds always seems a part of the Kino sale. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, usually. I don't guess we're getting a Kino sale. It's like almost, June's almost over. I haven't heard anything about a June swoon. So I guess we're not getting that June Kino sale, uh, which sucks. I was counting on that. Uh, he also owns Hounus Wanger two, T206 tobacco card for the Wild One, the various most expensive. Really? 
Uh, I've seen nobody mention Kick-Ass yet. He's great with Chloe Grace Moretz. I do like that movie. I've mentioned it. I did that in my recommendation video. Uh, it's crazy how least known films are asking huge prices. Are these films even watchable? They're probably good. I mean, they're probably good movies. They're from the 80s and 90s, you know. A lot of good movies in that time period. Um, okay, cool. That Matt's good to know. Is it good? Like, is it worth watching? Tubi is a godsend. Tubi is is awesome. It really is. Uh, Red Rock Red West is available from Germany on Blu-ray. Nice. I break the bank. Yeah, Bruce. Yeah, Apex is the best. Apex is the best. I already fell for that one, Vengeance. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for everybody that made by Apex. Unbreakable is another good Bruce Willis film soundtrack. Unbreakable is great. It could happen to you as a classic. So I should get that. I think I'm going to get that. Uh, happy Father's Day. Disliked Apex and Hell, Merit Man. Yeah, it will be eventually. Season of the Witch for a dollar on Blu ray with a slip. Pretty good flick. Um, Voodoo as a disc, it's a digital program. Okay. Okay. I think The Rock is great. So many iconic battles with Stone Cold Steve Austin. For sure. WrestleMania 17. Uh, my way or the highway. Glad I own Peggy Sue got married on DVD. I want to get Captain Coraletti's Mandalone. Uh, Mandalone in, but it's 1999 on Blu ray. Nick Cage, Palooza, Vampire's Kiss, Snake Eyes. eBay has a buy now option, which I usually use. Well, every Al Pacino film, please. You know, we'll get there. We'll get there. Mustafa, Mustafa, everything the palm touches turns to gold. It does. Um, yeah, Menace Society and Uncut Gems are great releases. Uh, I remember a few months back, there was a room on your bookshelves behind you. They're getting full, ma'am. <laughs> They're getting full. There's still empty spots at the bottom down there. Did you, did you can see. Um, but I almost need another shelf because if you look over there in the corner, there's all those that could go down there. So I've, I've got enough to fill up everything. Um, so I already needed another shelf. Uh, Conair, do you have any favorite actresses? Yeah, a lot of favorite actresses. A lot. I can't think of any. Um, Laura Dern from Wild at Heart is a personal favorite. I <laughs> uh, heard you mention getting Target exclusive Blu-ray on Barrel Weight. I think that one looks awesome. See, if it's not, I can't remember if that's 4K. If it's just Blu-ray, I'm not going to get it. I'm just going to get the slipcover, the regular slipcover. But I thought it was 4K. But if it's not, I won't get it. I do want that one. I like the artwork on it. Uh, guarding tests are fun comedy, especially like the scene. Uh, guarding tests, nice, nice. Oh, shoot, already yawning. That's not a good sign. Uh, favorite Father's Day meal. I mean, I would eat Mexican or Chinese like any day of the week, so I, I would say one of those. But look, let's let's get back into this before I pass out right here in front of you guys. I've been up since 4 30 in the morning. But you know what? I just had to, I had to do this. I couldn't do it last Tuesday. I had to reschedule. I felt bad about it. I'm like, you know what? I'll do it Sunday night. And I'll do it live, damn it, for the people. But you know what usually happens is I'll get real tired, and then all of a sudden I'll, I'll catch my second wind, and then I'll be completely batshit insane, crazy nuts the rest of the night. And lucky for you guys, that'll probably happen by the time we get to the 2010s Nicolas Cage films. Uh, and that should be fun. Okay, so look, leaving Lost Leg uh, Vegas. I almost said leaving Lost Vegas. Uh, the Rock is next. I got to bring it back up for you guys. I think, I think I'm still. Uh, someone get Ken some. I know I might have to take a break to go get some coffee here in a second. No joke. I thought this vitamin water would do me. At least I'm not drinking on this Sunday night. I think the last time of this Sunday stream, I was drinking. And that was a bad idea. 
I'll never do that again, ever. 649 for the rocks. Now we're getting some cheap stuff. And wouldn't you know it, his best movies are the cheapest. So there you go. All right. The Rock on Blu-ray is pretty cheap. We're going to start burning through these. Um, Con Air. Because these, these should all be easy, you know. The, late, the mid to late 90s stuff, like I feel like, is his most popular. Uh, nine ninety nine for the Rock or for Con Air. Good price for that. And Face Off is next. Face Off and Con Air came out in the same year. Eleven ninety eight for Face Off. All right, Let's add that to the cart. And let's see. City of Angels is next. So City of Angels came out before Family Man. That has a nice Blu-ray release for $14.99. Not bad, not bad. See, I wish I had more time to watch some more Nicolas Cage. I do need to see that one. But damn it, I can't buy everything. Or can I? Um, Snake Eyes is next. See, I have that double pack with Snake Eyes. And um, Face Off. It'd probably be cheaper if I did that. But I like the standalone cover on, on Snake Eyes right here. I think that's awesome. So I don't want to deprive myself of that. You kidding me? All right. And next we're going for eight millimeter. I think this one's pretty, this one's a screen factory or a shop factory. And this one is $29.99. That is expensive. Is Snake Eyes on streaming uh, or eight millimeter on streaming? I did want to watch that one. And we're up to $5.29 in the cart with a $6.50 Peggy Sue got married down here. All right. Bringing out the dead. I don't think bringing out the dead has a has a Blu-ray. I think it just has DVD, which is funny because I could have sworn it had a Criterion. Scorsese film just has a DVD. Well, we'll get that DVD for nine forty eight. Good uh, artwork on the DVD. Cool stuff. Gone in 60 seconds on Blu-ray. I'm oh, gonna go back to Blu-ray. Five or five ninety for Gone in 60 Seconds. See, this is like the cheapest Nicolas Cage film. So that's a good price. Good price for Gone in 60 Seconds. And we got the family man. What is the family man looking like? Ooh, that is cheap. See, I gotta go. I gotta go ahead and pull the trigger on the family man too. Eight fifty nine. That is a good price, and that that's a good movie. I remember watching that. I remember enjoying that one a lot. It's been probably twenty years since I've seen it. Probably since it came out, to be honest. But I'm I'm surprised it's such a good price. Uh, Captain Corelli's. Yeah, somebody somebody brought that one up. All right. Does that have anything? Yes, it does. I'm, I was surprised. This has got Penelope Cruz in it. I I feel like I remember this. I feel like I remember it. Uh, but I don't. I know I haven't seen it. Nineteen ninety nine for this one. All right, Captain Coronel Corelli's Mandalone, Mandolin. <laughs> Is this like a war film, war love story? Okay, Christmas Carol, the movie. He was the voice of Marley. 
Now, what is this? What is this Christmas Carol? I know it's not the Jim Carrey one. All right, let's look at DVDs. Dang it, we were on a roll. All right, so this is an animated film. 287 for this movie. 625 when we get on here. Okay. Well, Nicolas Cage is in it. It's animated. It's a Christmas movie. We'll add it to the cart on DVD. Day, they, day. And when Talkers is next. Good old Wind Talkers. I haven't seen this one either. I've heard good things about it. $9.49, not a bad price. Not a bad price for Wind Talkers. Surprised this one doesn't have a, a 4K. Uh, Sunny. We got Sunny. I see Sunny Boy. Um, okay. A film by Nicolas Cage. So is he in the movie? It's got James Franco in it. I mean, it says he was in the movie as well. Hold on. Do I do movies that he directed? I'm pretty sure this is his... Okay, I'm going to add it in there anyway. It's only four ninety three, four ninety four on on DVD. Film that Nicolas Cage directed. I, I didn't know he directed anything. All right, and we move into adaptation. I know this has a shout release. Twelve ninety five. That's a Good price for the Shout Factor release. I have it on DVD, so I'm not going to buy it just yet. I'm just going to watch the DVD. If I do like it, I might grab that. That is a damn good price. Matchstick Men. Matchstick Men does have a Blu-ray for $9.99. I found this at a Goodwill on DVD. So that's how I watch Matchstick Man. But still, good price for these movies. I feel like this is in, like, right after he got out of his more, like, action run. I feel like the early 2000s were really kind of his, maybe, like, late 90s, early 2000s, were really, like, his prestige, almost Oscar-type stuff. I don't know if he was nominated for any of this, but... You got City of Angels going into Bringing Out the Dead into, um, yeah, he had Gone in 60 Seconds, but you have Family Man, Adaptation, Matchstick Men, going to The Weatherman, like just more like serious, dramatic acting. He was actually really great in all these films. Not that he's not great in everything, but. Um, then we got uh, National Treasure, so took a break from that artsy fartsy stuff and said, Hey, I'm going to make some money now from Disney five 99 for national treasure. I should just bite the bullet and get this only five 99 to own national treasure. I don't own either one of these movies and you know, it's Disney. So they'll probably never put it on 4k. They might. I mean, national treasure like pirates, you know, I could see them doing All right. We got Lord of War next. And I know Lord of War, this might be our first 4K with Nicolas Cage, which is crazy. Like none of his older films have 4Ks. $15.99 for Lord of War. Not a bad price for a 4K. I think I got mine for 10 something. I think it was on sale. Or maybe it was like 11 or 12. It might have been a little bit more than 10. 
But I need, I'm excited to check that one out. I've heard good things about it. And we got the Weatherman. See, he's doing all these prestige movies. Back to back to back. 2000s was a good, damn good run for Nicolas Cage so far. 1227 for the Weatherman. All right. Then we got the Ant Bully. The Ant Bully from 2006. You can get this for... How did I get on here? All right. You can get the Ant Bully for seven seventy two. Nice. And next we got World Trade Center. Does this have a... Yep, it does. 746. I never saw this movie. Oliver Stone's World Trade Center. I don't know. When this movie came out, I was like... I just remember thinking, really? Already? Like, <laughs> I know they did that one movie, like United 93... But that was different. That, that felt more almost like a documentary. Um, I don't know. That one felt different in the way they did it. Just felt like it just had a little bit more taste. This was just like a straight up disaster movie involving the World Trade Center. I'm pretty sure. Again, I haven't seen it. But I just remember thinking, oh, God, it was only five years ago. You know, I don't know. It's just how I felt at the time. I do want to go back and watch it, though. It's like, you know, when they make the inevitable COVID movie, if they do it in like two years, it's like, come on. Starring Nicolas Cage, probably. I think they already did it. Didn't they already do one of those movies? Like during it? <laughs> I know the morning show did it. Uh, talked about it. All right. Uh, where are we at now? The Wicker Man. So right after his serious run, he does the Wicker Man. Come on, Nicolas Cage. Uh, $49.99 for the Wicker Man. Look, we need to buy this on the best possible format. So let's see. We're going to buy it used for 50 bucks, like new. Let's do 47 Yeah, I'm not going cheap like I did in real life. I'm doing the $50 one added to the car. We're up to seven twelve dollars right now with the addition of the Wicker Man. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider um, should be pretty cheap, right? Ghost Rider should be pretty cheap. Does Go Ghost Rider has a Blu-ray, right? Uh, yeah, it does. Um, extended cut. Sure. Eight ninety nine. I do have Ghost Rider. I do actually have it, but I have no interest in watching that movie. None whatsoever. I just remember not liking that movie at all. I think I saw it in theaters. Um, and then he did Stolen. No. God. Oh, we got a lot of crap to go through, guys. Jeez. Holy crap. We're going to be here a while. Um, Grindhouse. I'm not I'm not counting that one. Werewolf Women of the SS. That was a short. That's from Grind. Was he in Grindhouse? I don't remember that. All right. We're going to go straight to, to next. Does this have a 4K? I guess not. Okay. Next is eight ninety nine. Yeah, I'm not a, a fan of this phase of uh Nicolas Cage's career. I feel like it started with Wicker Man, Ghost Rider, then you got next. This is where just all he started to be 
not be taken seriously that much anymore. I feel like. Um, uh, 125 people in here. Thank y'all for being here. Let's see. Sorry, guys. Oh, my goodness. Do I have 90 likes? If I can get 10 more likes, I would appreciate that. I would appreciate that. Yeah, uh, I just noticed Nathan Jones in here uh, called out my Creep Show shirt. I was I meant to call that out at the beginning of the, of the stream, but this is my Father's Day shirt, uh, the Creep Show. Okay. I already bought next, right? I already put that in the card. Okay. So National Treasure Book of Secrets is next. Book of Secrets, that is $9.99. So that's almost 10 bucks for that. Add that to the card. All right. Okay, so yeah, I did have next in there. All right, what's next? Uh, Bangkok Dangerous is next. And this is seven eighty six, so not a bad price for that. And then we got knowing, and knowing does have a four K for fourteen ninety nine. So another Nicholas Cage four K. Nicholas Cage just doesn't have enough four Ks. It's ridiculous. The Rock should be on four K. Connor should be on four K. Face Off should be on four K. Just nuts. All right. Then we got G Force. That's like an animated hamster movie, right? What was he? Just one of the hamsters in this movie, or what? $4.95 on Blu-ray? Sure, why not? It's a cheap, cheap one at least. Let's not have to pay $150 for G Force on DVD. All right, where are we going next? Bad lieutenants. Um, this is nine ninety three. All right, and then we got Astro Boy. Is this another animated movie. Nicholas Cage is just doing whatever at this point in time, wasn't he? All right, where what what did we do? Accidentally moved. Okay, fourteen ninety nine. For that one. And we got kick ass coming next. Matt has a four K, so we'll get the four K. Good price on that. $16.99. I'm pretty sure that's how much it was when it first came out, though. Close to it. And... Uh, the Sorcerer's Apprentice. From 2010. It is $9.98. I have not seen this movie either, but okay. All right. I'm trying to get through all this crap. All right. <laughs> Just, it's so much crap. Season of the Witch. Like, isn't Season of the Witch and Sorcerer's Apprentice the same movie? What is this? Oh my God. 725. This is getting rough. I'm going to be honest. Like These aren't even enjoyable to talk about. <laughs> Season of the Witch. Okay. Uh, Drive Angry. There we go. You, know, you guys know the reason to get this one. 
Best Actress nominated Amber Heard. We know how much you guys like Amber Heard. Justice for Amber. Sad what happened to that poor girl. Sorry, I got to shake things up a bit. Add this to the cart. Drive angry. All right, there you go. Um, I think I'm at my limits. I think 50 is the limit. So right now, if I remember correctly, right now I have to write down this total. We're at $739. And I'll let you guys... uh, It's, yeah, Amber Turd. Don't call her that, Gus. Sweet young girl. I'm going to call her Amber Turd. So disrespectful. So disrespectful. <laughs> uh, okay. What are we doing? All right. Stop screen. All right. Well, I'm, I'm terrible at this. I wanted to bring up the Amazon cart so I could show you guys the cart. Bam. See right there, right there you can see it. 732 or 3942 for all these damn Nicolas Cage films. And now we got to delete every single one of them. Start over again. Cuz Amazon won't let you buy more than 50 things at once. Isn't that ridiculous? I should be able to buy whatever I want. I want to buy 100 Nicolas Cage movies randomly on a Sunday night for Father's Day. I should be able to do it. I don't need Amazon telling me how many Blu-rays I can buy or DVDs. I thought this was America. I thought we were free over here. Apparently not. Not according to Amazon. Can't buy them more than fit. This is ridiculous. All right. We got to get through these. We're going to get through like 40 in 10 minutes. I swear I'm going to do this like super fast right now. I got to get through this crap. This is just so much crap coming our way. It's ridiculous. (sighs) Okay. Let me get into the chat real quick. See what you guys are saying. What did I do? Um, What's up, Don? Little late. Happy five. Thank you. Thank you. I roll my eyes every time I look for 4K or even blue and see Disney 20th Century, Buena Vista, Touchstone, 75th anniversary of Disney's first movie, Snow White 4K. Nope. Another Blu-ray version. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and the, the tough part is they own literally everything. <laughs> everything. Like Universal and Warner Brothers and, and Paramount are going to run out of shit to remaster in 4k and we're not going to have anything left other than us just sitting around all day bitching about how disney won't do uh the rock or or aliens or whatever popular movie in 4k it's ridiculous i just looked at my family man blu-ray well awesome you gonna watch it yeah it's good i need to Need to rewatch that. Um, nice, nice. Yeah, I need coffee. I need coffee. Triple dip. Yeah, man. The, all those exclusives looks awesome. You guys are animals with your triple dip. And what do you guys think you are, Tony? Uh, I think Kick Kick Ass could work uh, as a series like The Boys, probably. They did it right. Leaving Las Vegas. Uh, it's 3 a.m. in the morning, so I got hit the sheet. Someone DM me on Instagram the total of all the movies. Thank you. Have a great night, everyone. I'll, I'll DM you later, man. Thank you for being here. Uh, Jen. Jen. Uh, you almost thought we watched you go from healthy Ken to sick in bed, Ken. Yeah. I push myself. I do. Um, you know, it's all for entertainment purposes. But, you know, I worry that it gets to a point where it's not very entertaining, but um, you guys are still in here. 109 of you. So thank you all. 
Uh, kick ass, kick ass. Never got a Blu ray. Family Man is what is on its way to me. Awesome. The Rock and Con Air great. Stanley Godspeed and The Rock and Cameron Poe and Con Air have some fun scenes. They do. I love those movies. Primal, it's getting one. Does it have one yet? Yeah, I can't wait to watch that one. I, I, I like Charlie uh, Kaufman, right? Um, uh, who directed Spike Jones directed adaptation, right? Am I wrong? He also did being John Malkovich. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Produce 19 movies. Nice. He does. He really does. It's so interesting just watching like the, the peaks and valleys and just like how he shifts, like going from all them prestige films in the early 2000s, late nineties, early two thousands, all those great movies straight into wicker man. And then he never looks back. <laughs> it's like all shit from then on. Um, and all stuff to just obviously get a paycheck. Uh, what's up, Nathan Jones? I already said hey to you. Magic Man is a wonderful film. Worth the Blu-ray upgrade, Ken. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to watch it on DVD because I bought it at Goodwill recently. So if I bought it at Goodwill, I might as well watch it on DVD. I'm not a snob. I can watch some stuff on DVD. I can watch it right here in the office or something when I'm working on something else. And it's fine. And if I like it, I'll get it on Blu-ray. Uh, Matchstick Man is so good. Underrated. Movie Cage did with Cher Moonstruck. Yeah, I've heard good things about that one. I definitely want to check that one out. Nick Cage, Mad Lot, good one. Matchstick Man, love that one. Uh, have to see Adaptation. Heard good things about it. I know they made a COVID video game. What was that? Uh, the Division? That was before COVID, wasn't it? Um, I can't wait. They made some COVID heist film. Yeah, I know they've made like movies that reference COVID, but I'm, I'm talking about specifically like, like a disaster type movie with COVID. And it it goes through the steps that we all went through in the very beginning. The whole toilet paper thing. Show all that and do a movie of that. People fighting in Walmart over toilet paper. It'd be so hilarious. Uh, only it wouldn't because we just lived that shit. So maybe in 20 years. Uh, I think Anne Hathaway was in it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Wicker Man demands me he's watching the biggest screen possible. I definitely will, Jer uh, Jerry. Definitely. Uh, I think Morbius should win Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actor, Best Everything for the Academy. I agree with you, and I've never seen it. It's an incredible film. Ghost Rider 2 Movie Collection is not on it. Damn it, bro. Damn it. Look, we're spending money tonight. I don't care. Oh, wait, I spelled Top Gun Maverick wrong. It's okay. I spelled Nicolas Cage wrong on the thumbnail. That's why I had to change it last minute. Uh, but to be fair, Nicholas can be spelled two, two different ways. And I spelled it the wrong way, of course. Uh, face off. I want to take his face off. Um, well, get on that shit, Brian. What are you waiting for? Yeah, he was in the Croods 1 and 2. We'll get to that. We got a lot of stuff to get to. Uh, you're going to get put on some list for only putting Nick Cage films in your cart. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, first Ghost Rider. Yeah, a lot of people do like it. Uh, just first watching Eight Women Over with Cage. Ever seen it? It's pretty solid. No, I do want to check it out, man. I do. I just don't want to pay 30 bucks for that shop factory. Sorcerer's Apprentice has some Magic the Gathering nods in it, which I dig. Okay, I, I got to check it out again. I just, I don't, it's, I was zoned out on that whole period of Nick, Nicolas Cage. Um, World Trade Center. Mandy is a favorite of mine. Yeah, Mandy's good. That's where he comes back. That's where he comes back. Worth every penny. Watch Amazon send mental health physician to your house after seeing all the Cage movies in the car. Why? Why? Why would they do that? Um. Yeah, not yet, Vicky. Not yet. Not yet. R.I.P. Jan, love the shirts, uh, playing movies and games. Charlie Kaufman wrote, Spike Jones directed Adaptation, right? Charlie Kaufman, didn't he direct the Thinking of Ending Things movie that was on Netflix? Didn't he direct that one? I know he wrote it too, but I think he directed that one. He has directed something. But yeah, I know he wrote a lot for Spike Jones. Did he write her? That was a good one, too. I, I like Spike Jones. 
Um, Ken, if Nick would be cast in one of the reboots of the classic monster films, who would you pick to play? Well, he was already cast. He's already Dracula. So I guess that. Right? You could be a mummy, too. Nick Cage collects and leaves with a mic drop. Family Man, Ma Matchstick Man adaptation. Uh, how do you have time watching films when you always on YouTube? There you go. Like, I try. I try to do both. It's crazy, though. I don't sleep. That's the thing. But, you know, that's why I try to explain to people. I try to watch as many movies as I can, but also... If I got a channel, I got to, you know, put out stuff for people to watch too. Kind of goes hand in hand. But yeah, it takes time. Um, Contagion was the closest, but it was before COVID. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that announcement. Uh, about the rest of the mic. Got Spinal Tap itch. Got a scratch. Enjoy the night. You're going to watch this as Spinal Tap? It's a good movie. Uh, Ghost Rider was a baller as hell. Vengeance was amazing too. Peach, I could eat a peach for hours. I could too. Good too. Zach Reber says, my favorite are the National Treasure movies. Do you think we're getting a third? <sighs> I would think so. I mean, Nicolas Cage is like, he, is, he hasn't died off. That's the thing about Nicolas Cage. Like, he never goes away. Like, he's never had a period of time where he's not existed in the spotlight. So, I don't know. Uh, you make it suck, but you should play George Ezra CD. Okay. I don't know what that means, but we'll, um, we got to get on with the bond here. All right. We're going, we're going mad crazy here. We're going quick. Do I already got something? Yeah. I got a few in the, in the new cart. So, right. No, I took everything out. I'm at a stopping point. So we're starting a brand new cart. We're currently at 700, almost 750. I'll go ahead and say almost 750. And we left off on Drive Angry. And now we're at Seeking Justice from 2011, which another one I haven't heard of. I have a feeling I'm going to be seeing a lot I haven't heard of. Fortunately, most of these will probably have Blu-rays. Because this was in the Blu-ray era. Seeking Justice. 1119. I doubt we're going to get any more of that go to the Criterion Collection. I could be wrong. I could be wrong about that. Oh, God. This is going to... Trespass. I'm pretty sure I bought Trespass from the from the Dollar Tree. I did. I did buy this movie. This is four seventy seven. But also look at your local Dollar Trees. You could find it there. All right. Trespass, Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance. I can't believe that movie came out in 2011. I thought all the Ghost Riders and stuff were in um, the 2000s. Should I get the 3D one? Oh, let's get the regular one. $9.99. Boom. Boom. All right. Where are we at now? Stolen. I never heard of Stolen. But it does have a Blu-ray. And it's 301. Well, 817 went up. I don't know why it's usually it's not a difference price between Blu-ray.com and Amazon. Usually it links right to it. Um, so that's weird. But The Frozen Ground is next. Yeah, these are all movies I remember seeing in Walmart bins and Dollar Trees and 1249, John Cusack. Ugh. What a bunch of crap. Okay, now we now we get to a the crudes is pretty good. It's a good animated movie. I, I like the crudes, you know. Uh, you know, it's not a masterpiece of animation or nothing, but it's pretty good. Typed it in on Amazon, I'm sorry. This, the Cruise has a 4K, right? The first one does, right? Um, Yeah, we got to get the 4Ks of these. So $14.99 for that. 
Because I don't think it has a 4K double pack. And uh, I almost went to the Crudes too, but we're not there yet. Oh, my God. Joe. Joe is awesome. I'm still waiting on my copy of Joe to come in. I ordered it. Uh, $5 right now on Amazon. So just don't expect it too quick, but that's a good price. Joe's a good movie. I'm telling you right now. We're, we're in the midst of pure shit from Nicolas Cage, but Joe is a good movie directed by David Gordon Green, same guy that the new, two new Halloween films and Pineapple Express. Probably his best movie, if I'm being honest. It is a good movie. Um, so, yeah, Joe Joe's good. Next, we got Rage. Oh, my God. Okay. Rage is fourteen fifty five. Jeez. Temporarily out of stock. I think there was another Rage. All right, they did a reissue, and that's only five ninety nine. Okay. So they did a reissue. So we got that one. And Outcast. The... He's got long hair. <laughs> Who is that? Uh, Hayden Christensen. This is new for a dollar seventeen. All right, it's nine ninety when you get on there. Hayden Christensen and Nicolas Cage. It, it, what is this one like? What is Outcast? Jesus Christ. And we got Left Behind. I read the, some of the books I Left Behind when I was younger. They are pretty good books. I never watched any of the movies, though. Not even the ones with Kirk Cameron. But then they redid that. Because I think the ones with Kirk Cameron were like TV movies. This is going for $25. i am pretty sure I found this at the Dollar Tree. And I have it back there in the collection. There's only one left in stock, so hurry up. Oh, God. This kills my soul. Dying of the Light. This is the film directed by Paul Schrader. Oh, my God. 996. Only two left in stock. All right, where are we at? The runner. He was literally just putting a movie out every week. Just just every week. A new Nicolas Cage movie. Get it. Who bought all this stuff? Does somebody have all these movies? Pay the Ghost. From 2015, 488. Oh, jeez. This is wearing me out. The trust. What? This whole stream is going south fast. All right. Add to the cart for the trust. Dog Eat Dog. I feel like I've seen the cover of this one. That's directed by Paul Schrader, too. And Willem Dafoe. I mean, that looks like a cool movie. Does this not have a Blu-ray? Okay, it does. What's that? Is Dog Eat Dog any good? This actually looks like a decent, decent flick. I don't know. I mean, if, of all the ones we went through, it looks like an actual movie. The rest of them do not. Uh, he was in Snowden. I did not know he was in Snowden. Buy that for nine ninety nine. Oh my 
USS Indianapolis, Men of Courage. You have Men of Courage. Some would call me a man of courage for buying all these Nicolas Cage films. It's funny how like the first 50 I feel like took me an hour and 15 minutes to do. And these last 50 are probably going to take me 20 minutes. All right. Army of One. It was a video game, wasn't it? I like that video game. 1899 for Army of One. Russell Brand and Nicolas Cage. Okay. Um, Arsenal. Does anybody know the next movie? All right, I had to buy that one used. Apparently, everybody sold out of that one. Vengeance, a love story. Okay, MVD visual. We're back with some boutiques now. All right, Vengeance, a love story. We got Inconceivable. Inconceivable. One's got uh, who is in this one? Fourteen seventy nine. I mean, it's getting expensive again, guys. It is getting spent expensive. I'm pretty sure you can buy all these at the Dollar Tree if you just look. All right, Mom and Dad. I still have not seen Mom and Dad, but I do have it in the collection. That is six ninety nine, so good price for this. And I heard good things about Mom and Dad. I heard this was a good one. Selma Blair and Nicolas Cage going crazy. Sounds like a fun time. All right, looks like we're getting into some some more decent flicks. What we got next? The Humanity Bureau. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got I found this one at the Dollar Tree. I probably got it in the Dollar Tree bin over there. All right. And we got uh, Dark. And I brought up the Dark Knight. What is dark? I gotta look this movie up. Dark, a film by Paul Schrader. Did this not get a, a physical media release? That's the Netflix show. Yeah, I cannot find Dark. So we're going to pass that one up. And we get the Mandy. And I don't know if I'm going to get the Steelbook or the regular edition. How much is the Mandy Steelbook? Mandy's an awesome movie. I mean, this is pretty much the same price for the Steelbook, so. I think we got to go steal, get our first steel book of the stream. We got to. All right. So, Looking Glass is next. I'm getting back into the crap. There's just so many movies he's done in the past five or six years. $6.99 for this one. Add to the cart. All right. And we got 211. Nicholas Cage wearing sunglasses. These are like, they feel like all the same covers at this point. 
Every one of these are the same covers. Teen Titans go to the movies. This is where he was going back into animation. Because we got into the Spider-Verse coming. Teen Titans go to the movies. I saw that in theaters. It was pretty good. I remember I remember thinking that was pretty funny. We gotta add a used version for three bucks. It's a good price though. All right. And then we got Between Worlds, which is complete dog shit. I got Between Worlds. I didn't buy it. I rented it based off of Mandy. I was like, oh, he's back making cool, interesting horror, sci-fi, supernatural flicks. It's like Between Worlds looks really cool. The cover's awesome. That movie is the biggest pile of shit. I've ever seen in my entire life. I've seen a lot of bad movies. It is so bad. So bad. But again, I haven't checked out a lot of these other Nicolas Cage straight to video titles either. Haven't seen Prisoner of a Ghostland, but it's pr it's probably of the same caliber. The way that people are talking about that one. Um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is next, which is a masterpiece. In my opinion. Got to get that one on 4K. Only $17.99. Yeah, it's, it's, such, it's such a breath of fresh air to actually get to a great movie. Even though he was just, you know. He was in it quite, quite a bit, though. As the noir Spider-Man. Pretty good amount. A score to settle. Or to settle from 2019. I mean, this dude never stops working. Pandemic or no, he keeps on going. Uh, color out of space, running with the devil. I don't love color out of space, but it's, you know, it's decent. It's not a terrible movie. I just didn't love it. I was hoping to like it as much as Mandy and it. It just didn't deliver on that. But, you know, I'm sure the 4K looks really good. I got the Blu-ray because I think I got it before the 4K came out. Did they come out at the same time? I can't remember. Um, Let's see. But $19.99 for that. And we got Running with the Devil. Never seen that one. God, how many more of these shit bombs do we got to go through? Kill Chain. What is Kill Chain? Well, it's right here. What is this? Do I got to buy a foreign release? So many different versions. Yeah, I don't know what the, is this only available overseas? What about a DVD? Yep. Yeah. All right, I'm passing up old Kill Chain. I'm not, you know, going to spend a bunch of money on Kill Chain. I accidentally deleted that whole screen, I'm pretty sure. All right. Let me bring it back up. Oh, we got naked HD cheap F. Then we're in. Okay. I got you. Block. Uh, honestly, it's his way of giving back. He created so many jobs doing all these movies. He gave so many chances, so many writers, directors. I mean, that's a positive way of looking at it. That's a positive way of looking at it. Like, look, I, you're not wrong. No, it's a good way to look at it. It just sucks when you have to go through them all back to back like this. 
But look, I did this to myself. I did this to myself. All right. Um, let me bring this back up. Oh, man. We got so many, so many pieces of shit coming. Like, he, he has been busy. Primal has a 4K. That doesn't come out till July. We're going to order the Blu-ray. We don't need Primal in 4K, do we? I remember almost picking this one up, but I didn't. It's probably a good thing I didn't. All right. Grand Isle. With Kelsey Grammer. Nine ninety nine. Jiu Jitsu. Keep spelling it wrong. Jit Su. See, I thought this one got a Blu ray. I remember it being in Walmart. Maybe not. We're going to buy it on DVD. Maybe it was something else. All right. And we got The Croods, A New Age. I like the I like both The Croods movies. Can't really remember too much about them, but I remember them both being pretty fun. I'm pretty sure A New Age had a 4K. Damn, 29.99 for the 4K. That is expensive. And good old Prisoners of a Ghost Land. And we'll get the RLJE one for $750. That's a good price. I don't know why I didn't buy this. It's Nicolas Cage. It's RLJE. I mean, I got the other ones. Willie's Wonderland. I remember when this came out, it was like the only thing that came out in like a whole month's span of time. Everybody bought this movie. I did not because I had, um, but I, I think I spent like $15 to rent it off a of TV or something. Everybody was desperate back then for new movies. We were all watching Willie's Wonderland on Blu-ray. All right. And we got Pig. We only got two more. We're at the end. <laughs> Thank God. It's two good movies. Pig is, is excellent. This is easily his best film in like 10 years. It's better than Mandy. Mandy's a great movie. But it's a better film than, than Mandy. Why can you not buy this new? I guess I'm getting pig used. All right. And then we got the unbearable way to massive talent, which comes out this week. You can pick and choose. $32.95. Why is this so damn expensive? It better go down in price when it comes out. I know sometimes it takes to like release day till it actually drops, but that's going to screw us over here on our calculator. Make it seem like it's more than it should be. All right. So you guys ready for the grand total? How many people are still in here? How many crazy people? 90s people still in here. Thank you all for being here. I'll get to the, the chat again in a second, but I want to, you know, I want to check out this total. All right. I mean, that was, what is that? 30 something titles? 40. So we got 90 movies and then Peggy Sue got married 91. So we were able to drop some other stuff out of there apparently as we went. 
I don't remember dropping that many, but maybe. I know there was a few I couldn't find there at the end. All right, so I'm going to go through the chat, and then I'm going to reveal the grand total, and it's really not as expensive as I, as I thought it would be. It's really not. Let's stop the screen. All right, let's see what you guys have to say. Cage voice Superman in a cartoon? Huh. Uh, are you aware that only you and the wedding planner will get a Blu-ray release? I don't think I was. Is that a new development? The wedding planner, huh? Is that Matthew McConaughey? Birdie raising Arizona planet tar? Uh, video game, video man Gizmo says I collect Cage, but I bought so but so many I bought, I just can't have in my collection. Too bad it's still Raider. See, OK Cage movie, the most random action movies. It's a good way to look at it. Trav Angry is OK. Um, can I have a question? Will you be doing a 4th of July stream? Eh, maybe. It depends. If people are willing, I mean, I'll do the roundtable on 4th of July. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to, you know, maybe late. Nah, I'll probably set off fireworks that night. Maybe if I do it, uh, it'll probably be like 11 or 12, but maybe it's possible. But the round, round table will probably be for June on like July 5th or 6th or something. Uh, I had to see Trespass. Let's see. Trespass is fun. Okay. People endorsing Trespass. Gone in 60 seconds. Pure cruel. Anything at this stage uh, would be better than Mo than another Fast and Furious. I'll take, like, how did Gone in 60 seconds not spawn, like, 15 million sequels? Like, that should have been a franchise. Angelina and Nicolas Cage? Giovanni Ribisi? Come on. Pig is awesome. Um... I got a sandwich. Type in Amazon if you've seen James Bond in a film on CD. Ken, what do you think of Joker 2 and Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn? Me and my wife actually talked about that extensively on a live stream on our channel, uh, Mary with Media, so you can go check us out over there. Um, but what are my thoughts? I, I think it's really cool. Uh, I mean, I know it's a hot take. Everybody's pissed off. It's a musical. I'm not. I didn't even really need a Joker 2 anyway, so... Go wild and weird and twisted and fantastical and musical. I think it could be pretty cool. So I think people need to stop bitching about it. Sounds cool. Let the artist create the art is what I'm is what I say. Uh, Trapped in Paradise, some good ones. Cage Voice Superman. I've never heard any of the movies after Joe. You probably heard of Mandy, and and um. And Pig, right? And Unbearable Way to Massive Talent, of course. The trust is good. It is cool that he got to, like, like he's come back. He's like, he's gone full circle. Like, because Massive Talent was like an actual movie that came out in theaters. And I don't know when the last time Nicolas Cage had that. Like, I think Pig was in theaters, but this was like a mainstream movie that came out in theaters. So that was pretty cool. Hopefully he gets some more because he's doing the Dracula movie and... Like, he's just, he's better than all that crap. Like, he can still go. Like, why is he doing that shit? Like, he has talent still, obviously. So, do some good movies, Nicolas Cage. Go out on a high note. Why are you still, why are you making this crap? But like somebody said, he's a, he's getting people jobs. So, I guess that's good. Low budget vacancy. Okay. I mean, vacancy itself was low budget, though. So, even more low budget than that. Uh, yeah, they look like it. Uh, uh, low budget cage. He needs the money to buy more dinos. Uh, the scene of Mandy where cage cries in the bathroom wrecks me every time. It's a, it's a good movie, man. That is a really good movie on so many levels. Uh, right. want the devil's good. Okay. Ken, my favorite YouTuber. You're the GD man, brother. Well, thank you, Party Ninjas. I appreciate that, man. I don't feel like the man right now. I feel like a tired old man who just spent way too much money on Nicolas Cage crap 
and I'm pissed off about it. I just want to go to bed. Primal can't stand lulling you, the Cotton Club. Uh, Ken, did you answer my question on if you'd be having a 4th of July stream? No offense if I already asked this. Um, yeah, if you already asked it up there, I just answered it, but I know I'm behind. Um, Primal for five bucks. Wait, is Ken actually buying all these or just seeing what it would cost? Just seeing what it would cost, cost Mark. That's what we do here. Uh, Jiu Jitsu is so good. Waiting for Cage to drop into the chat to announce nine more movies before the year is out. Pig is top notch. It is 90. Uh, a, a million dollars. Uh, One million dollars. Uh, 4,600. No, it ain't that high. It ain't that high. Yeah, it ain't that high. Uh, collect them all, but 90%. Dude, I would not. I just can't. I can't do it. But 90% suck. Um, I don't think it's 90%. I think it's 50. I don't think it's 90, though. Because he, he's got some great movies in the 80s, 90s, early 2000s. You know, he's even got some good ones in the 2010s. Um, but I say 50, 50, I think that's fair. And it's only cause he came out with like 50 crap movies in the last six years. God. Uh, why do you hate Nick? You seem like you want to vomit his, <laughs> just these, just this recent run of 2010s crap. It just looks like crap. Maybe it's good. I don't know. Maybe I'm just too judgmental. I don't know. I'm sorry, monkey. Um, about to get one free at Target. Yeah, I haven't uh, gotten anything off of that. I need to get that. It could happen to you. I'm I'm seriously gonna buy a couple more cage films when I get off of here. It's probably I'm probably gonna get it could happen to you. I'm probably gonna get Family Man and a couple other ones we talked about. Even if I don't watch them this month, I still want them. Uh, don't remind me of the Joker. Nicholas Cage wants a sequel. Face Off Two, National Treasure Two. I hope they all happen. Uh, that would be awesome to end his career. Do a Con Air 2. That would be freaking awesome, too. Maybe you'd say he got arrested again um, at the end of Con Air or something, and he got it put away for 30 more years. And, you know, that could be cool. Uh, you may end up on eight on an 8 millimeter. <laughs> She's not a big fan, really. She likes, uh, you know, she could probably watch Family Man, City Angels, and that kind of stuff. I do want to see Elvis. I really, really want to see the black phone. Like, I'm hoping we can see that next week. Uh, I love leaving Las Vegas and I really want boutique release of the film. Absolutely. I had a good, I had a good day, Mama Blue, right? You know, I worked all day, but you know, I came home and my kids gave me a card. So that was cool. But thank you for being here, Mama Blue, right? I've only heard of Mandy and Pig because of you, Ken, uh, said Gus. Watch them. Watch them both. They're both good. They're both very different, too, but they're both good. Um, G-Force. Yeah, we we bought that one. We bought that one. Uh, yes, we need a Con Air 2. Absolutely. Stolen 2. I liked Pig. Pig was good. Uh, what is your favorite coffee order? I don't really go, I don't really go place to order coffee too much. Um, you know, I'll go to Starbucks with my wife because she likes it, and she'll get me the white mocha cappuccino or something. It's pretty good. But I just, I, I, I brew my coffee in the morning at home. Uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to watch that and do a full review on it. I can already tell. It's going to be a really bad review, but or a really bad movie to review, but I'm going to have to talk about it. Yeah, me too. That would be cool uh, if he was in a Scorsese film. I would love to see him and Tarantino work together. Have they worked together before? I don't think so. Like if he was in Tarantino's last movie or something. That would be cool. Uh, what DI4s, the Shrek kid hates you for Ratman. He really mad at you. Ratman is funny. Oh, you talking about Grant? Um yeah, well, he pointed something out that I really didn't realize, and that is Ratman is naked. And maybe I need to put some pants on Ratman. It might be inappropriate for YouTube. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Is that inappropriate? I might have to put some pants on him. 
going forward. We'll see. We'll see. But look, we got to find out how much this costs. So we got uh, we got Peggy Sue got married. Okay. Peggy Sue got married with six fifty, and then that's plus seven thirty nine. Like 42 plus 490. See, it's not it's not gonna be that bad. People were guessing in the four thousands. It's not gonna be that. It's 1236.63 to own every Nicolas Cage movie. And look, you could probably go cheaper routes, you could probably get on eBay, you probably do a lot of different things uh, to bring that cost down. But 1236.63, but you get a lot of DVDs in there as well. Like a lot of this stuff isn't on Blu-ray yet. But you know, it's a that's a pretty good total. It's a pretty good total. Let me let me bring this up. You know, if you guys want something visual. Something visual for you. Damn, there you go. That is the total. $1,236.63. My goodness. That's a lot of cage. That is a lot of cage. But look. Um, you know, I'll answer a couple more questions. If anybody has anything they want to talk about it, and then we're going to get the hell out of here because I got some movies to watch, damn it. But one thing that I want to promote real quick, uh, before we get out of here is this is not the only live stream I'm doing on this channel this week. Tuesday night, we are having another episode of World's Biggest Collectors, bringing it back again. I haven't done an episode since I think May. Um, and I'm bringing on Dead Pit. Legendary YouTubers, Dead Pits, are going to be coming on to talk about horror, going to be talking about uh, collecting and, and all that stuff. You know, them being on YouTube for the past 14 years should be an interesting conversation, should be a great show. And I want everybody that joined me here tonight to join me on Tuesday night, 9 p.m., Eastern Standard Time, and I got more sex bots in here, but should be a fun time. Got uh, both Dead Pit, got Uncle Bill, got the creepy Kentuckian. They're fellow Kentuckians like me, so I'll be excited to, to have them in here, and we can talk about horses and basketball, because that's what Kentucky people talk about, and hot browns. We'll talk about those three things, but like I said, we'll we'll get into the chat a little bit more, and then we'll, we'll say our goodbyes, and happy Father's Day again to everybody out there. Uh, sadly, it's my second Father's Day celebration without my dad. Well, that is sad, Vicky. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. This stream is dedicated to Vicky's dad as well. Um, Tony Movie Chappie, D9, Neil Blomkamp, number one fan. That's cool. I just thought Ratman was cold. <laughs> Matchstick Man, massive talent. Peggy Sue got married. Uh, where they kidnapped the kid again. Yeah, that could be funny. Him and uh, Holly Hunter, like that that could be good. That could be really good. Uh, I would want the Coen brothers to direct, though. Yeah, good deals. Good deals. Uh, nah, Ratman doesn't need pants. Plus, if you put pants on Ratman Disney, he might take issue. <laughs> that is, that's a good point. Yeah, not you know, not too bad. I spent more than that today on the damn TV, so I shouldn't have bought the TV. I should have just bought all the Nicolas Cage movies. Why not? That's his tail. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's do a watch along party for Conair. I might. I was planning on maybe doing that. I don't know how many people would actually be interested in it, but maybe. Because again, that's a movie that I know frontwards and backwards. I could ab I could absolutely talk on a live stream and watch that movie at the same time. You missed it off the shelf, man. What the what the hell, man? Come on. What were you doing with your life? Probably enjoying yourself. Hope you had a good day, man. Hope you had a good day. Um, you know, you can watch the replay if you want. I had a very nice father, dad, uh, with my dad. Awesome, uh, Tony. Glad you did. Uh, thank God you're here to cheer me up. Yeah, I, you know, I try to. I try to because people, the holidays can be a very cheerful time. They can also be a very dark time for people that's lost loved ones and stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm happy that my shenanigans on here could could cheer anybody up. Uh, yeah, man, I think that's the if there if I was gonna do one for any, that would be it. That would be it. Uh, Mandy watch party. I don't. That would be trippy, man. Um, 
put the bunny down, Ken, says RK. Officer says, I know I'm dragging behind. That's okay, man. That's okay. Uh, right, man, will look nice with a top hat and maybe a gold crown. Absolutely. With that guy's look. Um, you know, I say bye. Ratman says bye. Getting the hell out of here. We bought all of Nicolas Cage's filmography. That was fun until we got to the 2010s. And then I just felt like hanging myself in my office. Um, but you guys said that they, they're they they're pretty good. And, you know, he gives people jobs. So that's important, too. I get that. And, yeah, maybe they're good. I don't know. But um, we're done here tonight, guys. Please like this stream if you haven't liked it yet. How many likes we got? How many likes we got on here now? Uh, 121. Thank you all so much. I don't usually get this many likes, you know, on a stream like this. So appreciate you guys liking the video. Um, and yeah, comment if you're watching this on the replay on any of the ridiculous things that we discussed here tonight. Everybody have a great night, great rest of your Father's Day, and a great week. This is a start to a new week for a lot of people. You are going back to work tomorrow. Have a good week. Again, join us on Tuesday night. Uh, June 21st. We're going to be live again. World's Biggest Collectors episode 38 with Dead Pit. Um, and we'll see you guys later. I'm still here. I'm not leaving. Here's Ratman again. Bye, guys. <laughs>